Hi there and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Uh, I've got some more mini bust ups from Gentle Giant to show you. Uh, these are the, the set of four clone figures from uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Episode 3 in their uh, Phase 2 armour, so slightly different from the previous review I've done from the clones from Attack of the Clones. Now, this box set was slightly different from the Attack of the Clones because you haven't got separate arms so you can have different poses. You've basically got what you've got there. Um, I suppose the only slight difference is that you can actually move the heads easier on this set because it's a, a round peg for the helmets to slot over the top. Apart from that, it's pretty much the same. The arms push into place in their predefined slots on the sides. And unless you want to be sort of trimming and cutting and all the rest of it, you, you have to have them as they are. Um, the actual packs uh, do do vary. Um, th this set was with the trooper, the blue trooper, the 501st, actually shown on the packaging. There is a separate pack with the uh, Utterpound trooper uh, showing on the left hand side of the packaging. Now they're slightly different in that um, you can see that the, the Utterpound trooper is left handed and uh, the one on the other pack, which I haven't got yet, is right handed. Um, and with these packs as well, there is a, a bonus figure of uh, Commander Gree, which unfortunately I haven't got got hold of yet, not in this pack, and uh, I'm not paying the prices on eBay because I've seen it for sort of £70, which is quite a bit of money for a, a two-inch two-inch figure. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got here. Um, is the the white clone again holding the DC-15 blaster. Again I've done some slight weathering on the weapon so I haven't touched the figures at all. Next up is the Utterpal clone trooper from the 212th attack battalion under General Kenobi. Next up is the Coruscant Guard Clone Trooper, slightly different from the Coruscant Shock Trooper, and uh, it's got the grey grey markings. I mean, a again, like the other f other set I've shown you, the the d detailing on there is really good. And last, by no means least, 501st Trooper. I think this is uh, what they call the, the, the clean set, clean markings. I've had a look on uh, rebelscum.com. Uh, I use that site quite often to look through my figures. Um, there is, a, like I say, an another set where they, they're, they're supposed to be weathered, and I'm trying to get my hands on those. As soon as I can, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to share that with you all. Until the next time... Uh, Take care and bye-bye.